Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Good to see you as always. And in today's CCNA and CSENT lightning round, we call this one Witch Layer, which gives you a pretty good idea of the topic we're going to be talking about. And I also have a word of real world encouragement for you. Uh, I like to think I always have that, but especially with this particular topic, the OSI model. Because before we hit it, I want to discuss this for just one moment. Especially when you're starting your networking studies, and you're sitting there and you're going through the OSI model and a lot of that material, you know, it's a little dry. I'll be the first to say that. It's not always the world's most exciting material uh, and it's hard to do a lot of lab work with it. So, you know, it's, it's kind of you're dealing with books and theory. But no matter what, sometime in your studies at that point, it is easy to think, does this really matter? You know, do I, am I really going to use this out in the field? Am I going to use this, you know, working help desk or, you know, any kind of networking job? Because I'm going to tell you, I had the exact same thoughts when I was studying for this exam. Believe me, for, for the um, introductory level exam. And you're sitting there and, you know, you worked all day and you're studying this book at night. And it looks like a jigsaw puzzle. And it's like, you know, do I really need to know this. And yes, you do. It's really going to come in handy. And one of the topics on this screen uh, kind of relates to what I was just talking about. So for this lightning round, what I need you to do is look at each of these eight terms, or just simply words in some cases, and tell me which layer of the OSI model it applies to. And going from top to bottom, we're looking at packets, segments, troubleshooting processes should begin here, manager of the connections, MAC address, windowing, sequencing, and physical address. If you want to pause the video here for a moment and think about your answers, that's great. I know it's a lot of questions on one screen, but I'm going to start going from top to bottom and go through the answers. With packets, we're always routing packets, right? So that's going to be at the network layer of the OSI model. With segments, that comes in at the transport layer. That is where data is going to be segmented into those segments. Now, what I was just talking about as far as will the OSI model really help me in the real world, yes, because it gives you an orderly way to approach troubleshooting. Because sometimes you'll see you know, network admins and they just kind of sit down, they know one trick and or one thing to look at and if that doesn't fix the problem they don't know what to do also if you've ever worked help desk boy take it from me you you have to tell people you know is this thing on you know or turn it on i've been on those calls you know you're a couple minutes into it then you realize the person on the other end of the phone doesn't even have power uh, so the troubleshooting processes should always begin at the physical layer of the OSI model. You know, is this plugged in? Is it getting, you know, is the cable out? Anything like that, but always start at the physical layer of the OSI model. Now, when it comes to the manager of the connections, it's a slightly vague term, I would grant you, but the session layer is often referred to as the management layer or the manager layer of all the connections, because this is where the connections are established, maintained, and torn down. MAC addresses come into play at the data link layer. Of course, that's with frames, too. Uh, windowing and sequencing both take place at the transport layer as well. And to wrap this up, and I've got one little bonus for you, so stick around. But watch this last one, because I fell for this when I started my studies. I'll be the first to admit. You see physical address, and you think, hey, physical layer. Well, physical address is another name for the MAC address because it physically exists on the network card. So that's why we call it a physical address. And so the physical address is actually found at the data link layer of the OSI model. So again, going from top to bottom there, packets are at the network layer, segments at the transport layer, start troubleshooting at the physical layer, the management layer, the manager of the connections is the session layer, MAC addresses come in at data link, windowing and sequencing both come in at the transport layer and a physical address will be found at the data link layer. When I was showing you that list of free courses, I want to give you a quick hint here. So we've got almost 7,000 people in these courses and a lot of them are taking my free and my uh, not quite free CCNA course. Uh, when you check out this URL, this is what you're actually going to see is this list of courses that I've got there. And like I said, a couple of them are free, a couple of them not so free, but when you go to the not so free ones, um, as you see, the price is very reasonable, but always look for a discount code right there. I can't guarantee it's always going to be 35%. 
but always look for a discount code. All you got to do is click redeem it, type the word in, and there you go. And as of today, we've got 1,300 people in the course, and they are all enjoying it. So I hope you'll join us out there on Udemy for those free and paid courses. I'm Chris Bryant, and thanks so much for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.